Hey everyone, I'm Derek Fox and you're watching a bunch of losers. Emily is my guest today, MasterChef back to win top five. We talk all the drama of being back on MC, her beef with Shanika, life before, during, and after, and her decision that ultimately led to the end of my MC journey. Let's go, loser. Hi, Emily. I did not watch enough of the <laughs> past podcasts, obviously. What are we bringing out? Uh, Surprise guest, Shanika's here. <laughs> yeah, no. I mean, I would talk with Shanika. Uh, I don't think she would come on. Um, you would be surprised. I don't know. Maybe. Maybe. She was a totally different person this season, so. We'll get to that. Okay. Welcome. Yes. Um, What are you doing here in LA? Oh, God. Work. So... Um, yeah, the past week has been kind of a, a blur, but I started in New York, um, then Nashville the next day, just got off a plane from Nashville to LAX. It's, I mean, like, I, yeah, I have a real job. You what, know? And what job is this real job? Um, I was, I, what's the, like colloquial way to like put it is like, I'm a research manager, I guess, but I do like consumer insights and stuff for, can I say the company name? Yeah. Oh, okay. If you want. Oh, okay. So I work for Vital Proteins. Oh, yeah. I use them for my client. Yeah. What do you use? Um, off the top of my head, I'm not one. It's like a collagen. Yeah. F the fish. Uh, collagen. Oh, the marine one. Yeah. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. Oh, cool. I'll add you to my list for people that I can do like in depth qualitative research with. Hook it up. Let's go. Yeah. That's I, awesome. I use it. You know, I try to use it as much as I can. Mm hmm. Because she's, uh, she's semi vegetarian. Um, oh yeah, I remember you saying yeah. that. Yeah. Okay, but she's okay with like marine collagen. Yeah. But the like, bovine she'll eat is eggs, she'll eat caviar. Um, you know. Okay. Uh yeah, yeah, I've been doing no focus way. groups. So like that's which I know doesn't sound fun, but it's pretty fun. It's exciting. Is it pay good? I like my job. Uh <laughs> what's <well, it's> good? <laughs> I mean, I'm good are, at my job, so <laughs> do you, are you comfortable? Like you drive yeah. in the car you want to drive? Uh, yeah, I drive a Fiat five hundred with a you know, leather seats and a sunroof I and I've got a Fiat. I, Oh, did you? Yeah. I love them. I love that was like my dream car. So. I, I had two of them. I went through two of them. I love them too. And then nice. I traded it in for the old Tesla. Ugh. <laughs> That's like yeah, okay, not that good. So like uh -huh. if if and I also like live alone in Chicago, yeah. like in Wicker Park with my two dogs. So you don't need um it. The like Fiat's perfect. And yeah, I can park anywhere. Anywhere. That's the best thing about anywhere. their car. Anywhere. Literally. Love yeah. it. Yeah. Um Okay. Mm-hmm. Let's jump into this. <laughs> jump into what? <laughs> I'm scared. <laughs> Yo, we so did you know on Back to Win we had the nickname for you Three Wine Emily? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh well, did I know that it was like a nickname that maybe was used uh when I was not present? No. <laughs> Do I know what that means? Yes, yes. We really like, we really enjoyed Three Wine Emily. Three Wine Emily is a whole other animal, so yeah. Yeah. By the way, we can talk about how far you went because this is going to air after. That's, well, when you were like, I know how this works. And I was like, oh yeah, he knows how this works. This is, <laughs> he was on the show. He knows. He signed the same stuff I did. Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah, yeah, so yeah. for everyone, I'm texting Emily to ask her to remind me how far she went because we filmed this like last year almost a year ago now literally and i'm like God. uh what place were you and she's like top five but don't tell anyone i'm like <laughs> hey no, i take it seriously <laughs> i'm on the same show <laughs> i take the contract seriously jc approves okay but JC. clearly like we learned you were kind of okay god there's so much okay so okay. there's there's this drama with Shanika that this season I felt like was not there. Like, it seemed like they were trying to play it up on TV and in the edit. And I don't remember you two having any drama. Thank you. Okay. So, because you were there. Yeah. Like, you were there. <laughs> you were Vent, there. <laughs> like, I, this is, uh, and I have, it's constantly, it's the question that everyone asks me when, like, I meet them or when they, you know, see me yeah. somewhere. And they're like, they're like, oh, I'm watching the new season. Like, really? Is it really, like, that bad between you guys? It, I don't know if how. If they wanted real drama, like Christian and I had fucking beef yes! every fucking day. And then Christian and Shanika like get into it. I'm just like, how are you? How are you fabricating? Like continue to f continuing to fabricate this like feud between Shanika and I. When on literally when we were in the room being judged, we like squashed it all. 
yeah. hey, good job, girl. Good job. Looks great. Right. Awesome. Let's move Shelley forward. Shelly and I had had beef. They could have they could have went with that. And that beef was real as shit. And it, it carried on over from season six when mm-hmm. she tried to throw me under the bus after I saved her ass. And then she does it again at the at the thing. Mm-hmm. And did you know? I don't know if you knew this. You know the room we had in our hotel for the microwave? We could go reheat food? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The night before that team challenge, I walk in there to go reheat food at like 1030 at night. And it's her and Christian and one other person plotting to get rid of me. I believe that. I believe that. There was just like, you know, I will say this. I think overall season 12 felt much more congenial. I think everyone was much more supportive of one another. But there was just a couple... Yeah. times where I was just like, damn, like I didn't, I'm one of those people, I'm always on the outside of the loop, right? Yeah, you were <laughs> like, not. No, it's 3 wine. they're like, ah, 3 wine, Emily, she's just going to have a good time. Well, let's touch on What's that real on? quick, because there was this moment where you get to put the teams together. Oh, God. Why did you not put Christian and Shanika together? No, okay, so. Because they were just arguing I know, like I know. an hour before, like that would have been the best move ever. So I put a lot of thought, a <laughs> lot of, th- you don't understand, I still have the notebook. I still have the notebook that I wrote all these notes in and there's a whole page dedicated to like different iterations of the people in the teams, right? And the that was the first thing I said, I was like, who am I going to put Shanika with? And I was like. I went through the list, right? And I'm like... But why not Christian? I knew that they... I Because, like, literally the day before, they were fighting. And I... Shanna... Th- let me tell you this. Because we... Shanna and I are, do not get along, right? Like, we're never going to be friends. We're not friends. Like, that's not a thing. But do we have beef anymore like i would say no i don't know if, what she would say if you asked her but i would say no i'm like i think she just can, i think she just wakes up and beefs with everybody well, but, but we can like peacefully coexist yeah, correct and like i don't hate my life great um shanika is really really good that if there is a goal to attain she will do anything to get the attain that goal so like if i would have put her and christian together she would have yes chef no chef you know what i mean like she would have changed it immediately yeah but but I disagree with that because of the uh, the way Christian's ego is. But like you put Christian and Willie together, like just put two best friends together from the same season. OK, so there was a reason for that. There's a reason behind all the choices. That's dish, so, girl. Yes. So so <laughs> Willie and Christian both had similar styles, right? Where it was kind of like you're going to be making like. A probably breaded fried pan fried protein over like a lot of carbs. Yeah. And I was like, that's not like, is it challenging enough to like win you something? But did on you a not team notice challenge? that it didn't matter? All Christian did was cook meat and potatoes all season and it was just like he was um, rewarded for it. You know, hindsight's 2020. Yeah. But in the moment, I was like, are they really going to be like, they might be able to pull off a similar dish, but is it going to be good enough with their like kind of similar style to like beat out some of the people that would do really great stuff? Like, I don't know. I just think, I think Shanika, she, I think people see this kind of like very brash side of her. It almost worked putting her with Dara. Well, because Dara got so, because she was like so high pressure and then Dara gets like really like in her head about it sometimes. And so I, 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 it, I'm not going to say that that was kind of like what was left over in terms of the pairing, but I was like, this could maybe work, right? So if we Amanda put them and I wasn't a leftover, like we weren't the leftover, like no. that was really strategic. That was, that was probably one of the, like the first or second team that I put together. Cause I was like, Amanda's really quiet. Um, you are not <laughs> in the kitchen. <laughs> I'll just say that. And I was like, I think there, so did you watch, um, you know, the the like three day quarantine that we had in our rooms where we were like, we had nothing to do. We couldn't leave. I watched all of season 11 because I knew that they were going to kind of follow similar mm. structures. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For some no, of the I went and watched I went and watched the challenge two times before. And when you put me with Amanda, I was super stoked because Amanda and I are of, of the same idea. Like, we'll mm-hmm. get the job done. Yeah. Like yep. we like I may have. Uh, my confidence gets sometimes misconstrued as ego because I won't boast unless I absolutely 100% know I can do what I can do. Right. Right. So a lot of, so sometimes it comes off as ego, but it's not like Christian, like, you know, it's yeah, different. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So with Amanda and I, like, we're not going to bring any ego. It's like, so I was like excited. Yep. But then where I feel like I messed up was 
I let Amanda take the lead because mm -hmm. I was, my whole thought was if I take the lead on this, it's going to be too complicated for her. Like uh, if like you and I like mm -hmm. sometimes I run through my head I'm like man you were you were my other choice for if it was you and I bed. we would have done such a dope <laughs> dish because you and I can plate like I could say to you let's do this plating right. and you could do it right right, right you right. know yep. and so can Michael yep and you know I think I think you made a smart I mean it was a very smart choice I'll if tell you, knew you why what you were I'll doing. tell you why yeah. I did it okay I I was. 98% certain that Michael was going to make it to the finale. And I was like, they won't, we're not going to be in the bottom. Like we don't have to win. We're not going to be in the bottom and I'm not going to go home. If I pick someone that I am fairly certain is going to make it to the finale. So it was pretty much you and Michael that I was choosing between as yeah. partners. Yeah. Yeah. Well, good, good fucking choice. <laughs> so, well, so this is what I thought was going to happen. So I, cause I watched season 11 and, uh, oh shit, I'm forgetting their names. Um, and yeah, and what's his face? Yeah, I don't remember his name. Yeah, so because she just like took over, he kind of followed, and then like right, like he tried to kind of he tried to kind of throw her under the bus, and then but he was the one that ended up going home, mm -hmm. and I was just kind of like but that they, dynamic is like sure poisonous. They, that wasn't a double elimination for them, was it? No, no, I think right. it was just one went home. See, and that's what like also like Joseph. That was his name, Joseph oh, okay. Anna that's, Joseph. That's what really bugged me about this one is like. It was, this was a, double. Our, a double elimination. Yeah, fucking terrible. And I mean, you had to be like, fucking sweet. I'm knocking two people out. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, okay. I, I'll also say this. You were, this was, um, and I, I mean, I, I don't know if there, I don't know if it airs, but, um, I didn't, there was a lot of like other people crying, right? Like when they would like announce a guest chef or yeah, like yeah, yeah. whatever, doing something and people were like, oh my God, this is amazing. And like, I was just like not that emotional about it. Cause I was like, we've done this before. We know the routine. We know what's going on. I was prepared for it mentally when people left, when I left, like I didn't cry. Um, the only time I cried that entire season is when you and Amanda got eliminated. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. uh, I wasn't there to see that. Because... <laughs> I wasn't there to see that. No, and I was like, I was just, I felt so bad. Because, like, that's, it's a lot. You think it's an advantage, but ultimately it, like, kind of messes with your head. Well, and I think, I think everyone there understood how bad I wanted it. I think yep. that was apparent. Um, and I did, I mean, I, like, you know, we all have our own feelings, but, like, I know how bad I wanted it. Yeah. And also coming into this one, you know, in, in the years between season six and season 12, I've definitely done a lot of work on myself. Mm -hmm. And so like the empathy I have for other people and just like being in touch with feelings. And I've been working on like a lot of perception. Mm -hmm. Like I look at everything from perception, not as like actual not reality. What, it is, yeah. what I believe it to be. Yeah. yeah. And so I could feel everybody so heavily. And that was like every time like I would speak, I'd get emotional because I could feel everybody. And I was like, this, I don't know this version of me. It was really <laughs> weird because season six, God, I walked in so naive. It was just like, I'm fucking this place up. Get out of my way. And yep. this time I was like, I'm going to play a different game mm -hmm. and I'm going to be very strategic. And like, I felt like truly my whole plan was working Going all, it was. going it all was the way. Working. And here's, here's, did you, did you, sorry, because it hasn't aired yet. Did you, did your team win restaurant challenge? You did. Okay. Yeah. You were on, who was on I your was team? with Dara and Christian. Ah. Uh, Which a little bit, I mean, to me, that's just like a little bit of, not like a slap in the face, but like, I don't know. I just, my elimination was tough. <clears throat> you went home af on the next episode yeah. after on um the the baked alaska we can talk about that in a second it's but terrible. this is where i i didn't know because i yeah i didn't know yet but i did restaurant takeover mm -hmm. so you know i don't know that I, I felt like that probably maybe not have been in your game plan i really no. wanted to, i really wanted to get to restaurant takeover so bad because i i knew the code i knew the puzzle mm -hmm. You get stacks of plates that are on the side, right? Yep. And Gordon comes in yelling out things, and there's an appetizer plate and there's an entree plate. Instead of trying to memorize, you pull the plates yeah. and make a new stack. Oh, there you go. So you always know. You can turn and look and see how many you need, and then you turn to whoever's on which, which protein, and you yell out, 
you know, we got six all day, we got eight all day, whatever. But that's the code. And they don't tell you that going in. No, but of like, they because don't. I've already been there. I know the answer. They I know. want it to be so confusing. Right. But I would have <laughs> smashed fucking restaurant challenge. I was so ready for it. Like uh, you were looking to the mountain in the distance and not fo- like the, no, you know, I was watching there. the molehills in front of you, my dude. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I really thought Amanda was going to be a lot stronger in that. One. I was shocked. I was shocked when when they brought you guys up for like judging and you were like, yeah, I kind of let Amanda take the lead. I was like, what? Like, that was not what I envisioned yeah. happening at all. And, you know, like, the, I, I wanted just, I knew that if I, because I, I knew this, for instance, the first dish I asked her, I said, hey, you want to do this? She's like, I don't know what that is. And I was like, oh. okay, what do you want to do? Okay, It was gotcha. like, and then she was like, let's do this couscous and there's duck. And she felt confident with duck. And I was like, well, I'm confident with duck. And I don't, I know Christian's not going to do duck. Right. And I know Shanika's not going to do duck. Right. And I knew you and and uh michael we're gonna do seafood for sure because that's the smart play but i was like the smart play is do a seafood that you can literally cook in the last couple minutes yeah and you can focus on everything else yeah and i was just like the risk is doing duck but if we fucking nail it high reward yeah. high reward yeah and so that was that was part of it should i have done that with amanda probably not uh could i have done that with you absolutely uh, i don't know <laughs> No man, you. Sometimes I'm like, I have think, more confidence in you than probably. Uh, probably I, mean, I do. Probably I was, so. I was highly annoyed with you a lot th- mm-hmm. during the season I, because every uh, time I'd look up, you'd have this fucking great plate, and I'm like, damn it. Remember the <laughs> the first chat, and they showed it, which I love. Uh, when they came, and I was I was like devastated. Like this made me. I was like, oh no. When they came around, they were the very first challenge, like redemption yeah. challenge, and they came over to me, and Joe goes, "Did you see his did plate you? exactly?" And I was like, "Did you know they? Did you notice yep. how they didn't show my plate? They did. No, oh. no, they didn't cut to it. Oh, Joe said thinking. it, and they didn't cut to it. They went to your plate. They never well, showed they my plate. Nearly identical. I was like." Yeah, yeah, I saw Yeah, that. except mine was a little more like artsy, like splatter art, yeah. and yours was tight. Yeah. yeah. I just was like, fuck, that means I'm not going to get in the top. It was a nice mislead is <laughs> yeah, what it was. they do that so well. Fuckers. Asshole. Boosting my confidence. I was so mad, though, because that, honestly, that challenge, my plan was to do that dessert for the finale. I wanted to, uh... I wanted to redo, because when they came to us, like the producers even said, Derek... You didn't go home on anything. Mm -hmm. You can pick any one of the three from the finale and redo it. And I was like, okay. And I was like, well, I was going to save that because I wanted to redo the dessert at the end. If I made it to the finale, that was, I was putting that in my back pocket and I was like, you know what? I'm going to fucking pull it out right now and wow everyone. And then it doesn't even fucking get showed, but I had a photo of it. And so I posted it. I posted it. And then, (laughs) then did you notice we all started getting toolkits? Oh, oh! Was that after the first one? We didn't get two I, kids for the first one. I posted I the like, photo. I feel like I got. I wasn't in it though, so because I was trying to. I set up a viewing party for the first episode because I was like, obviously, I want it, right? I want to like make sure I have a viewing party for it. They sent out like pictures. I was not in a single picture. Same. I had to message them and say, how Same. do you expect me to promote this and have a viewing party <sighs> for an episode that I win and I don't even have any pictures of me? You know, like, you I doing? felt the same way. I went six weeks without getting a photo of me. I had to email them. Dude. Six weeks. And they have a billion in one photo. Yeah. Why do you not just go through and go, let's make sure we've got a photo of everybody, right? Yeah. Okay, yeah. cool. And some it's, of the judges and some of the fluff and good. We, we could all run the social media better than what's I, going on. What's happening? And you know the you know the one photos where it's like tomorrow? Yep. Yep. Or tonight? Have you not had one? I haven't had one. Bastards. Have you? Uh, Maybe one? No, I had, so for the bakery, okay, well, we can talk about that, but for the bakery replication challenge, yeah. um, it, they didn't show me. Because you were sick as fuck. <laughs> they showed my fucking Boston cream pies, like them judging the Boston cream pies, and I was like, why are they even using that? I was literally vomiting. Green in the face. On the fourth wall, 30 How many times seconds did you before this picture. Day? How many times like, did you vomit? vomit? Like, on stage, uh, like two or three. So, But that was just before they gave me, they had to call a doctor. They gave me a shot of Zofran. They like gave me Zofran pills. Like I was up all night the night before, like every 30 minutes. It was terrible. You came down looking like death. I felt like death. We knew it wasn't COVID. Didn't, didn't you 
order from somewhere else? So I was the only, like, I, it was like, because I locked myself. It was a study night. I was like, I'm going to be in my room alone. I ordered, like, pizza and salad from some whatever local place and, like, woke oh, up the next the morning. Salad. And I just woke up and, like, I felt normal. Um, and, like, for me, it's normal that if I end up with, like, like stomach illness or, like, food poisoning or something, it just, like, hits me like that, right? So, like, I felt normal, and then all of a sudden I was like, I think I'm going to throw up. And I was like, holy shit. And I didn't throw up at all that day. That was the first day. Um, and But I was, like, eating nauseine, like, M&Ms. Like, Chris was like, here you go. Um, and then, then we get home that night, and it's just, like, all night. I was like, fuck. How am I going to not be like active? I had, I don't know if you saw this, but I had a uh, person dedicated, a production person dedicated on the fourth wall to follow me around wherever I would go to make sure. Yeah, with a bucket. (laughs) To make sure that I had a garbage. I was like, I was like, this is, this is terrible. And I felt like I was moving at the speed of light for that challenge. But like now watching it back, I'm like, I don't know how you did it. I do. That's unbelievably well because you guys picked all the stupid stuff first well not you not you not you yeah yeah not you but everybody else like brandy macarons are you kidding me yeah but you know what's funny i would have picked if i would have got to choose before brandy i would have chose those (laughs) i would have yeah but i I can make them can you make like 40 full ones yeah i could perfectly i think i could have done it i mean you know Anyway, we would we won't know. We'll never know. <laughs> we'll never know. <laughs> we'll never know. Yeah, that was terrible. Ah, oh, I, I yeah. mean, honestly, like, uh, doing that, like, sick. I mean, I, I couldn't. Know. I didn't eat for a week. So, like, these challenges where I'm like in the bottom, it's just a direct result of the fact yeah. that I wasn't tasting my food. Like, sure. I was making stupid decisions because I was like. I mean, right. I l- was not thinking. Yeah. I just was not thinking. I did yeah. fucking pork loin. For the Vietnamese challenge, I did pork loin. Okay. Like grilled pork loin. Of course, it was like shoe leather. Yeah. It was like, that's what's going to happen. I was like, yeah. I originally I was going to do chicken thighs. And then I was just, I saw Ooh. the pork loin. And I was like, oh yeah, let's do pork loin. <laughs> <laughs> I was just like, what are you doing? I not don't know. three wine, Emily. Yeah. No, that was like, <laughs> that was like no sleep, nothing to eat or drink in five days, Emily. So. Um, how long have you been working with Vital Proteins? Mm. So, oh, so my life, like, because I left. Yeah, hold on. Let me go back. Oh, I'm, okay. I'm skipping important questions uh-huh. that I ask everybody. So, oh. before season nine. Okay. Yeah. What were you doing? What made you audition for MasterChef? Dude, I had never seen an episode of MasterChef. <laughs> like, I, so I was living in Chicago, um, working in market research, but for a different company. Um, and, like, I think I was on Eater one day, because, like, my job was to kind of stay up to date on what's going on in the food service industry. So I was on Eater one day, and they had, like, oh, MasterChef open auditions happening in Chicago this weekend. And, and you I had was never like, even watched it? I'd never watched the show. I was like, yeah, that's the one with Gordon Ramsay, right? Sure. Um, like I knew of it, right? But I'd never watched it. See, this is this is the thing about you that, like, all season, it's like you're, <laughs> it feels like you're oblivious, <laughs> and then you do well. It's like, <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> well because i'm not like i i prepare once i know what the goal is i prepare myself for it but like i was like yeah well let's go see what it's all about and i like looked it up and i was like so what do you have to do and what do you have to fill out and what's like and i was like oh this could be just a fun a cool kind of little experience to go see what an audition for this is like and then it just you know because kept going further and right further. so like you know they do the like come into this room with 30 people and yeah. do your little three minute you know Plate. plating yeah. then they come around and talk to you were you um, nervous when you did that i mean there's a little bit of nervousness but like i was purely there just to see what it all was about right. so you weren't like my life is on the right. line <laughs> exactly i was like i was like here's my deviled egg you know like it, i just what did you make for that I, a deviled egg you made a deviled egg well i made a deviled egg but it's not like just a regular deviled egg tell us about your deviled egg so my family every year for easter we do an easter egg hunt and then we started doing um like we call it the deviled egg off <laughs> so it's a deviled egg competition um and it it's sounds gotten... like some crazy like russian it, fucking military dude have you heard of the devil <laughs> egg off, devil egg off? <laughs> it's pretty serious you, you need to take it seriously in my family otherwise it's like well, nah, nobody's gonna vote for you um but this year i had done not this year but the year that i went to the auditions i did like a beef wellington inspired devil egg right so the filling instead of a lot of mayo is like clarified butter and chives and lemon to like emulate 
and like tarragon okay. to emulate like a Bernays sauce. And then you had um, like a, a mushroom duck cell and a filet mignon, like I, which I cut and then like poached it to rare and then thinly sliced it, these little medallions and then puff pastry garnish and whatever. So wild. Yeah, pretty good. Wild. But like, you know, I, to be honest with you, I'm going to say this. I, food is probably 25% of the equation, I think, in MasterChef. The rest of it is personality and see but that's because but psychology i think i think for the first i think it's 50 50 i think okay. the first half you have to you got to have personality like yeah tommy he's like he's yeah. just like the peewee herman of master <laughs> <laughs> he's got what is he gonna cook up today <laughs> and like you know he hams it up and the whole wishbone thing i'm like you're eating up camera time like they're they're like literally like Tell us about your wishbone, Tommy. Like, fuck off. <laughs> that you plucked out of this quail and are carrying you've held it in your pocket, in your pocket? Yes, for Disgusting. four days. I know, hilarious. Uh, you know, but it, the, I think it's 50 50. I think, you know, and then to make it far, yeah, you got to be able to, you got to be able to cook and think under pressure. I think a lot of it's also thinking under pressure. Do you remember? Do I, well, for season six, was it Robin Ashbrook that was the one of the, no, it was Graham producers? Elliott and, no, the, for the, Tozzi. um, Oh, Produ executive oh yeah, producers. Yeah. yeah, yeah, Robin. Yeah. Well, so it was Robin. I think maybe I don't know if Yaz was there in Chicago, um, and Danny was there. Um, but Robin was like the one. So like once they do the tasting, and then they call you down to like half of that group, and then they split yeah. those groups into yeah. two, and you go and you do like a little like yeah. interview kind of thing. Um, yes, yes. My so like it's with like a panel, but like Robin was kind of leading it, and. You know, he went through and like was like asking people questions, and like one of the first questions was like, "Who's watching Master like the current season of Master Chef?" I didn't lie because like I'm not. I so was, everyone raised their hand, and you didn't. Yes, everyone, <laughs> and like, and he called on people that raised their hand and said, "Who's your favorite contestant this season?" And it was clear that they were lying that they were watching it, right? So I was like, "That's why you don't lie," because <laughs> like I was like, "Nah, I don't watch it," but like yeah. this is cool, and it seems like it could yeah. be a cool experience. Um, and then he goes through and starts like, you know, asking questions and everything about you. Give me your 30 second pitch, whatever. Then he had these big, like huge poster board cards. And he was like, well, I want to play a little game. This was my favorite part about all of my like <laughs> MasterChef interviewing experience. This is a trivia game. Yes. But <laughs> it's I, this is where like, oh, man, like I just I think I blew his mind a little bit. So like I was like. I was like, that was tell, my favorite part. Game. What was the so game? he picks up these big cards. Like you can't, we couldn't see them. He's holding okay. them against himself, but they have big like pictures. And he's like, okay, so on these cards are pictures of uh, kitchen equipment or tools or ingredients or people or whatever, right? Chefs and stuff. Okay. He's like, so I'm going to flip one over. And if you know what it is, raise your hand. The first person to raise their hand and get it right. will give you a point. And so <laughs> I was like, okay, cool, whatever. Like this shouldn't be too hard. And I'm not one of those people that I'm just going to like, you know, oh, raise my hand quick and try to see what it is. I yeah. actually wait until I go, oh, I know what that is. And I raise my hand. Right. Um, so, of course, like the first one or two, like I didn't, it was like mango, like super easy stuff. Right. Um, and then he does, you know, a couple other things and like I get one or two and then he pulls um, another card and this kid next to me, you know, gets his hand up first. But I like had my hand up and he's like, oh, it's a, it's a potato masher. Well, not technically. It was a no. potato ricer, ricer. Right. Which a potato masher is technically a very different thing. Correct. And so I just went, I went, oh, I'm sorry, Robin, excuse me. <laughs> and he was just like, yeah, Emily. And I was like, well, isn't that technically a potato ricer? The masher is a different thing. And he was just like, uh, okay. You're fine. like the teacher's pet. Right. And so it's, <laughs> it's like where I'm the like, well, technically. Um, and so then we're going and like I'm getting all of them, right? And then he starts digging to the back of the pile and he's he starts like, okay, looking. I'll give you tough. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And he's like, okay, flips around. Picture of a man, right? Like famous chef. Thomas Keller. Oh, easy. Wolfgang Puck. Easy. Well, okay, but easy for like us, right? But like if you ask anybody on the street, right? Like they don't know yeah. who, who those people are, you know? But you're like in food research, so yeah, that you were ready. And That's like awesome. food is my life. Yeah. And I just he just kept going, and like literally it just became instead of the game, it became him trying to find one that I didn't know. <laughs> and I was like, yeah, you can probably do this all day, but solid flex, cool, cool, cool. cool. Solid flex. So when we got, so like that was it, and then I got obviously the like come back the next day for an on camera interview, and then all of that stuff. And yeah. then when you get to LA and you do like the little like team cooking class thing that mm -hmm, they mm -hmm. did, which I was like, this so is terrible. Here's where I pulled an Emily. When I first <laughs> did that, 
I didn't know there was a glass window, like one way, and they were watching. I had no idea they were watching. Where? In the test kitchen? Yeah. See? What do you I mean? pulled an Emily. There, when you do that test kitchen, yeah. like where there's 10 of you in the kitchen and they're like, there's pork, fish, chicken, yeah, yeah, yeah. make us something. There's a like a FBI window kind of thing where they're watching through. Where? Exactly. <laughs> like in the test kitchen that you and I have been in on season 12. Not in season 12. Oh. No, season nine oh. and season six when they first did, they were watching us. Huh. Yeah. That's so weird. All the producers well, on the that. other wall. Well, yeah. so the, because Robin comes in, right? So he's the one that divided the groups. Yeah. And he literally comes, walks into this room, looks straight at me and goes, Emily, team captain for this one. And I was like, fuck. <laughs> I hate, I hate. There is nothing you, I hate more than being a captain of a team of people I don't know. You yourself out by flexing your knowledge. Yeah, I didn't know that was going to happen. Like, yeah. Fuck. Everything matters. Yeah. So everything that was that was like my favorite and my least favorite experiences yeah. of like master chef. So that's how I got. I was just like, eh, let's just see what happens. And they just kept calling me back. So. Did, how did you feel about not having the black apron challenges this season? I, I didn't love kinda, it. You kind of went home on one. Well, I went home on one, but every I don't feel bad about the way I went home on season nine because okay. every decision that got me there was my decision you know yeah. it wasn't just like a fluke it wasn't someone else making a decision right. for me like i chose to go. i could have saved myself but i didn't mm -hmm. like was it stupid yeah was i gonna do it again absolutely not but i made that decision so yeah but yeah so there's no black apron challenges this season that was mm -hmm. really i really hated that because i loved them me too i loved them because i per I'm, i feel like maybe you're one of those people too where we perform better under pressure yeah Absolutely. Like I was a master procrastinator. I would write a paper the night before. Yeah. Like, yeah. yeah, yeah. Like, uh, down to the, sometimes I'll be at work and I'll be ahead and I'll just be like, I'm gonna sit down and waste 45 <laughs> minutes so that I have to do this faster. Exactly. Yeah. So I have to like feel the pressure. If, if there's not pressure, yeah. I'm like, that's when I mess up. Yeah. Right. Yep. So I was always really, really good in the black apron challenges. Wow, that'd have been interesting if you and I were in a black apron challenge. Like head to head. Yeah. That would have been terrible. It would have been terrifying. Well, if it was a baking one. Well, okay. So I came I out bake like. Too. I came out 50 50. Oh, that's true. I came out 50 50 on the, on the baking challenge. I did go home on a baking challenge. I did go home on a baking challenge twice. <laughs> yeah. I don't know if you can call Baked Alaska a baking challenge, though. Yeah, because what? I mean. It was like a that, freezing challenge. Because you, you guys, did you guys, you guys didn't bake it in the oven, right? You just torched the meringue. Right. Exactly. Right. Because there's, there's the super classic way mm. where you bake it. Yeah. No. Or we didn't do that. You torch it. Yeah, we just torched it. So it's but a terrible. It's a torch frozen Alaska. All my like all my friends and family now they're just like, gosh, that must really suck. Like you like to bake and you went home on a baking challenge twice. And I was like, will do that to you. Thanks guys. Yeah. Well, who in the world makes baked Alaska? Like that's stupid with liquid <laughs> nitrogen. <client>. Who? <laughs> my client loves them. I know. It's, I've seen them on your on your yeah. Instagram. That's what like, I also you little honestly, you know that you do you know you do that a little bit because you were like I can't see I can make baked Alaska. It was actually a coincidence because uh, my client out of nowhere uh -huh. goes, "Can you make these for dessert?" And I was like, "Seriously, right now <laughs> you have no idea what you just asked." Like you trust don't even me. know. Trust me. Yeah. That was not planned, but I was like, well, now if I'm gonna make it, I'm gonna fucking post it. Yeah. But that's what's so annoying is like going home on the wall was not a challenge of like skill. It's it's this like weird like yes. can you yell louder yes. than everybody else? And can And communicate with words like in a way that makes sense to another person. Yeah. While but, cooking. And also like, you know, you're in the in the pantry and they're like, you have it was five like minutes. Five I think minutes, it was five minutes to con five concept, minutes. shop. Right. Conceptualize and shop. And then Gordon Ramsay's running around interfering with all of us going, come on, come on, come on. And there's no clock telling you how long you've been in there. So yeah. it's like, it felt like 30 fucking seconds. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Um, they, they like to play games with us. Yeah. Um, yes, they do. Where did the beef start with Shanika in season nine, though? Um, that's a really good question. Um, pretty sure the Shanika had beef with everybody in season nine. Like I said, she just like took her turn, like just yeah. oh, I hate you, I hate you, I hate yeah. you. And she, I was like, okay. There was like one day in in the green room, she just she just walks by. I don't trust you. You're always plotting. <laughs> I'm like, Shanika, I haven't even ever talked to you. What what the fuck yes. was that? Yes, 
you know, and I'm got like her little vibes plotting. About people, I'm just yeah. plotting my dishes. Yeah. I have, I'm not concerned with anyone. Mm-hmm. I'm making sure that my next dish is like I, I. This is what I would do. So if it was like if it's gonna be a baking challenge, mm-hmm. I've already or a dessert challenge. Yeah. I've already done a cake. So if I have to come up with a dessert, mm-hmm. I'm gonna make sure it's not a cake. It's gonna be something right. else. Yeah. So I'm thinking, what other desserts can I do? You had a notebook, right? Yeah. 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 And then if it was like if you have to do like for instance when we got the pepper challenge i knew everyone's gonna go savory i was like i'm gonna do a dessert and that was just my that's what was in my head i was always ready to like what what can i do differently you know and like that, that that's was, what she means though when she says you're always but blind. she was like <laughs> but, she, but she meant it like i'm trying to single out certain people like and i was never doing that like if yeah. anything, it was just like Christian annoyed me, and it was just like whatever to stay away from this dude because he he's so insecure. Well, you know what's funny is when Shanika and Christian, cause so like our beef ended up happening just because it was I was the team captain for the challenge that led up to the um, elimination challenge. So like, and we just disagreed, right? So like she, I was like had a vision of a dish that we wanted to do. We were doing a bone and pork chop, and I was like, great, let's do you know cauliflower puree and Swiss chard, like sautéed Swiss chard, and let's do a Easy. peach, like a peach Beautiful. fresh peach salsa with like a balsamic drizzle, right? She was like, peaches and balsamic do not go together. Peaches and balsamic do not go together. What? Peaches, pork, and balsamic don't go together. And I was like, I'm pretty sure that if you look it up in the flavor bible, they're like capitalized and bolded, yeah, which they are now that I have a flavor bible. <laughs> okay cool uh and so we just like bumped heads and she was just like sink the ship from the beginning on the team challenge i also very much don't like when anyone's like this they like this doesn't go together it's Mm -hmm. like well you know if you actually if if there's a way that they can go together and you work on it's it's about like the amount of one thing versus the other and there is a you can marry things together yeah i mean it's like like Especially when you're on blue your cheese, bacon, and vanilla ice cream. Sounds weird. Tastes amazing. Yeah. There's things out there like that. You know? I mean, oh, I don't know. Yeah. Those uh, those personalities on the team challenges really just... I, that's why I hate team challenges. Yeah. And every I will tell anyone that will listen, I will be like, I hate... And I've hate, I hate team projects. I hate team challenges. <laughs> I hate anything Are you where an I only to, child? No. I have an older <laughs> sister. But that maybe contributes to the reason why I freaking hate anything that has to do with like team stuff right especially when it comes to master chef where it's like i don't even know these people like the early team challenges right you're going i don't know you i don't know your abilities i don't know your what you know like your knowledge like if i tell you to go do x do you know how to do x you know like go grill these pork chops do you know how to do that like you obviously yes but like some people i sound found out on season nine like hard no yeah hard no and then they don't tell you they don't know how to do it yeah of and course because they're afraid of right. that it's going to be their demise anyway yeah. which yeah. it's like you better just speak up or else it's really going to be, be like, your demise don't yeah. put me on the pork bro yeah. don't put me no i don't want to go on the pork. you know and it's just like come on man so yeah yeah, yeah. i hate team challenges <laughs> <laughs> i will fight um, for myself any day but so what made you suck. go back for season 12 like when they called you oh god okay so after season nine like immediately following i if, if any and people did ask me they'd be like oh would you do it again you know would you mm-hmm. go back and do mm-hmm. it again and i always told them i said knowing what i know now and like everything about it the whole experience how i went home if i had to go back in time and do it again knowing mm-hmm. i was like absolutely 100 percent, i would go back and do it i had a great experience yeah. the first time around yeah. i was like this is great same even though i lost but <laughs> even though even though you were runner up i know well there you go see we're just a bunch <laughs> of fucking losers um I, that's what I told them. I said, yes, absolutely. I would go back and do it again if I went back in time. But if you asked me to go do it tomorrow, do it again, I was like, nah, I'm good. Okay. I'm good. And I held strong to that for the three, four years in between all of this. Except no one was asking. Right. Nobody was. Nobody was that was a yeah. hypothetical. Yeah. You never really know what you're going to do in a hypothetical. And then they called. And I was like, ooh, what would I? And I was like, well, I always say that I wouldn't. So and you still haven't watched any previous Master Chef, so you're. Uh, well, did, I mean, in preparation for watch? season nine, yeah. So in preparation okay. for season nine, I went okay. and watched a bunch of previous like seasons, okay. and then like I wasn't consistently watching the seasons in between because then they like skipped and reran um a season. Okay, and so like 
I wasn't consistently watching all of them, but I would watch like if it was on, I would like put it on. Um, and so I was kind of like, oh, they're kind of changing up the format and stuff a little bit. Like, I don't really know what's going on. And then they call and I'm like, oh, man. And I had changed by this time. I mean, like my life <laughs> in those like three, four years in between season nine and, and like them calling had changed in every way possible right so i had been in a long-term relationship that was like ended up being like actually a really shitty relationship um like like really bad um and so we ended up breaking up i had moved back home for a little while got a new job moved back to chicago and before they called they then had got a new job again um so i was just like this is not a good time right and i was working at my new job for literally like a month at this point so and then you were like hey hey so I was like, you, you know, that off? yeah. So I basically what I did is I said, I'm not going to be I'm not going to get super excited about it and I'm not going to commit to it. But I what I will say, like I told them, I was like, yeah, I'd be open to it. I let I kind of at that point let my job like that. The first hurdle was my job. Right. Yeah. So I was like, if my job says no, I'm not going to do it because that's stupid. Like yeah. I it's a yeah. good job and I'm not going to like I think, risk that. I think we're both in the same place. Yeah. That. So I was like, if they say no, no. They said yes. So like shock of all shocks. They were like, this is great. We don't want to stand in your way. Um, you should definitely go do it. Like whatever, which was actually very surprising. It, worked, it was a large like multinational like right. CPG like right. food manufacturer. And they're, still like, <laughs> and and they're like, also saying that you can still have a job when you come back. Right. They were basically wow. just like take your PTO, like your two weeks PTO. And then anything after that will be a sabbatical. And I was like, oh, OK. Amazing. So that wasn't an issue so that hurdle was cleared so then i just kind of said okay fine i'm gonna be like yes put my hat in the ring um i'm not gonna be get super excited or expect to go so you know there were some people that showed up and they were like but i'm making it to the finale and i was like like what's her name uh fucking starts with a k uh starts with a c actually it sounds like a k katara oh 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 no uh katura yes yeah like her yes I mean, God, she was obnoxious. So, like, I was like, I'm not, uh, that's just not who I am. I'm not going to, like, show up like that. Um, But so at that point, it was, I'm going to let them tell me that they don't want me to do it, right? So I just did all this stuff, filled out all the paperwork, signed all this stuff, did the interviews. Um, So I just kind of said, if they want me to go do it again, I guess I'll go do it. You just classic Emily this whole thing. Just (laughs) (laughs) just floating through life. So I was like... (laughs) If they want me, I guess I'll show up. And uh, shock of all shocks, I ended up back on season twelve. Yeah, so um, it's good stuff. And then when when you found out Shanika was there, were you just like, of fucking course? Or how did you feel about okay, that? Okay, so I fully expected her to be there. Okay. And then when I got like landed in LA, like someone I forget who it was, but someone told me that like, oh no, because she's in culinary school, so she's not coming. And I was like. Oh, Oh, so I had like a You're day like, where I was like, yeah, a day where I was like, I was like, oh, okay. So like the worst thing that I thought would happen from this isn't going to happen. Um, and then, then someone was like, oh no, she's here. And I was like, ah, fuck. <laughs> I was That's like, well, funny. maybe, maybe it'll be different, you know? And then it ended up kind of being different, which I was okay with. Also, she never left her room. So yeah, like I never saw her, which that was fine. Yeah, I was. I mean, like that's cool, girl. Like she's got her schoolwork and stuff to be doing. She was very focused. She was a totally different person. Mm. Like if you would have met her season nine, I probably wouldn't. I probably really not gotten along with her, right? Because like it was very like yeah. combative with everyone. So, oh. um, yeah. Since I'm an LA local, I showed up on like the last day, and I know they're, they're. You know what was funny is when I got the call, I like. I took a deep breath and I sat on it for a minute. I was like, because I, you know, like going all the way to the finale and yeah. watching that confetti fall for someone else like broke me for a minute. And there was a good like, and then when I couldn't talk about it and mm-hmm. then it like started airing and then it was like, I got to throw this watch party because people are going to think if I don't, they're just going to know. No, yep. And then I had to sit in a room with like the, my watch party for the finale was insane. I had two radio stations. I had a local restaurant in Florida. <laughs> And I had people that drove from Miami, from fucking Tampa. Like, they all, like, two, three-hour drives. Yeah. There was 500-plus people in this fucking place, and I had to sit in the middle of it and just, like... And wh- and, and you know. You and know, know what's going to happen. I know, And it just, like, it hurt so bad. So I was like, I was like, I don't know if I'm going to put myself through this. Like, I better go fucking win this thing. You know, it was like, that was where I was coming from. And then, so... I took it. I was like, let me think about it. Mm-hmm. 
And then all of a sudden I start getting these messages in my inbox from other contestants. Yes, which we weren't supposed to do, but everybody knew it was happening. They were like, are you going? And I played dumb. I was like, going where? Oh, God. I fucking hated the people that did that. I was like, just tell me. Like, are you going? Why? Because. (laughs) Like, honestly, some of the people I really wanted to be there weren't there. And I was like, that would have been such a better experience. Well, then DeAndre calls me. Someone told me day of, like, he's supposed to be here. And I was like. Yeah, he was. So DeAndre calls me. He goes, I, he, he didn't even ask me. He goes, I know you got the call. He goes, I need to know if you're going or not. And I was like, <laughs> what? I was like, what? I was like, what are you talking about? He goes, I know you got the call. I need to know if you're going or not. I was like, why do you care if I'm going or not? I was like, I need to know if you're going or not. I was like, why? He's like, because he's like, you're the only one I'm threatened about. And I was like, you're the only one I'm threatened about. I was like, are you going? He goes, I don't know. And then I was like, all right, well, I'll let you know if I decide. And then uh, and then I think we had a couple more phone calls. And I was like, yeah, I think I'm going to, if my work's cool with it, yeah. I'm going to do it. And then uh, and then he called me like a couple days before shipping off. He's like, I'm disqualified. And I was like, what? Why? And he was like, I think it had something to do with Milk Bar because he was still working for Milk Bar. Uh, and then we have. Uh, that makes sense. Uh, yeah, so that DQ'd him. Damn. Because he was currently working for I Milk met, Bar. I met DeAndre at the, when I just attended, right, the pool party for ah, season 10. Yeah, yeah, We were both there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't actually remember meeting you, though. We didn't meet each other. Oh, we didn't meet. Okay, yeah. There no. were a lot of people I, think, I didn't meet. I, yeah, I don't know. I, I didn't, like, because I didn't watch any seasons after me. So that's why okay. I didn't know who you were. Right, right, right. Because I it was just too much PTSD. I tried, and then I was just like, <laughs> I was just an emotional mess on the but I couch. Think, I think that's like, the I don't know. Maybe that you've talked to probably more people about that than I have. But like, that's probably the case for a lot of people. Like, watching seasons after, like, yeah, I can't. Yeah. I can't mentally handle it. It's a, it's a traumatic thing, I think. And I think, um, you know, I haven't, I haven't talked to any winners. But uh, <laughs> I don't know if winners feel the same way. Oh, uh, dude. I mean, how could they not in some way? I mean, obviously, I mean, it's like, oh, I won. Yeah. But how could they not still? They still get there's like trauma. yelled at yeah. and they still go through team challenges and they yeah. still get they're in the bottom, you know, like it's those team challenges hard. fuck people up, man. Because there's so much chaos and there's no clock. The no clock is what really bugs me. Yeah. But what was your per diem on uh, season nine? Same as it was, whatever, $50 a day or whatever. What? Why? We got a, on season six, we got $100 a day. Oh, yeah, no, they started tightening those belts. That's bullshit. But there's people, so like, this is what I love because season nine, like, I, you know, 50 bucks a day, I was like, whatever. It's, I know it's not much. And like, I wasn't getting paid beyond the two weeks. Even it was the same thing for season nine where I got, took two weeks of vacation and then it was mm-hmm. sabbatical, unpaid. Um, I came back with enough money to pay my rent. So I was like, I don't See, know what y'all are doing. That wasn't the case for uh, me the second time around. The first time around, <laughs> the first time around, it was paying my rent. Like, yeah, yeah. I, I was just eating the food that was around. And exactly. That pay that per diem. I bought paid wine at Ralph's. Like I didn't go yeah. down and pay fifteen dollars a glass at the yeah. bar. Like this know? time, I didn't really care. It was like, like I'm I'm good, you yeah. know, financially. In fact, it cost me a lot to be there. I spent twelve thousand dollars on a chef to cover my. Spot. oh shit yeah 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 while you I, were gone yeah that was work. the rules like i can't mm-hmm. lose my job so i had to pay a chef yeah i was still getting paid but i was just transferring that, that money, money over yeah. it was like that was a i was like when I mean, you get comfortable man it's like so mm-hmm. anyway so i was just more bummed that it, i was getting less than what i was getting season six yeah, and it's yeah. six years later it's like yeah hello go up, inflation down. yeah yeah, yeah, yeah like yeah. And then, and then also because we're quarantined, like if we do want any food, it has to be delivered. So that's more one, expensive. Yeah. So one yeah. meal was knocking out that fifty bucks a day. It was like, yeah. do I want to eat lunch today on the on the house, or do we want to eat dinner? Yeah. But uh, you know, it's uh, that's what it was. Um. So what's the goal with with the uh, with the vital protein? Are you trying to move up in this company, or do you have a you have a future food goal, or? So everybody like, okay, all right. I have a lot of like 
thoughts, you know, like I, I never intended mass, like I, I kind of entered it into a, in a very non-committal way where I was like, let's see what happens. So let me rephrase the question. Do you, is there a cloud you want to float on that's different than the one you're floating on now? <laughs> not, 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 I don't know. I'm going to say not particularly like I like my career. I genuinely do. Okay. I have found, I've found a way to make food or like food and beverage mm-hmm. products and ingredients and things my livelihood right so like what i talk about and think about every single day right. like i've literally been these focus groups are like sitting in a room and i'm literally talking to people about like health and wellness like supplements and eating strategies and whatever right so like i've found a way to do that that's not working in a kitchen or not yeah. you know it's more stable it's a salaried right. like corporate job um it's a younger so vital proteins is a younger company they were acquired by nestle um at the end of last year mm. So now they like have this huge platform. They're growing exponentially, yeah. um, but they didn't have an insights like a consumer insights position or like department, okay. right? So I am their consumer insights department, like Amazing. me, like team of one. So like I am doing research, which I also really love. Like that's a huge part of something that I have built into my career and like really focused on. So I'm like actually doing the research and then giving very strategic kind of advice and information to the company to say, this is what we need to be doing. Right. So that's kind of the, that's what you do as like an insights manager, a research manager. Right. Um, And I love it. Like, I love it. I love it. So do you, do you see yourself staying with that company for a long time or is there like, is it kind of like you get it, you get them the research they need and then you got to move on to another company or how does that work? No, this is like, I mean, I envision myself like staying at this company, building a team, right? Cause like I can't be one person forever, especially with at the rate that we're growing. So it's like, I envision, you know, moving up, building a team, building a, a like a strong insights team that's able to like continue doing what we're doing, which is going to be great. I mean, Am I like, am I going to die working at Vital Proteins? I don't like, I don't know. Probably not. But like, you never know. <laughs> You're literally like, yeah. Oh, today's the day I die. Cool. <laughs> Let me get in the coffin. <laughs> I don't know. Is anybody uh, watching? <laughs> Great. <laughs> And like every once in a while, you know, you sometimes you have those like intrusive thoughts where you're like, ah, I'm just going to like sell everything and go move to an island or something. I, my intrusive thought is like, ah, I'm just going to go like move to the country and open a little bakery somewhere, you know, yeah. like a little cafe. Yeah. And I'm just like going to do that. And so maybe that's a retirement plan or maybe yeah. that's our, like, I'm not going to actually do that tomorrow. Like, I love the life that I have right now. And you so. like living in Chicago? I fucking love Chicago. Have you, you ever mean, been to Chicago? Oh, I love Chicago. It's amazing. I love Chicago. But I went one time in February. I was. Oh, terrible. Oh, it's terrible in February. Yeah. Don't go then. I was dating a girl and she was going to the art school there. And I went up for Valentine's Day and like, she's in a dorm. So like, I couldn't Ooh. like stay at her dorm when she had to go to class. So she's like, you got to go do something. And so I'm like bundled up like an Eskimo. <laughs> like, like I have to waddled. spend time I'm outside. Like, I'm, I've got three pairs of pants on, snowboard <laughs> pants, two hoodies and a and a and a snow jacket and a face covering yes. and gloves. And I'm freezing. You're like, you still can't feel your hands. Yeah. My bones were I cold. Know. And I'm like, where's a Starbucks? Like, and every Starbucks I'd go into, every seat was filled. It was like, yep. oh, this is miserable. No. Go in the summer. If you're yeah. from like a warmer climate, yeah. go in the summer. I was coming yeah. from Florida. It was like, it was rough. Yeah. Uh, but no, I, I absolutely love Chicago. And, and I toured through there when I was playing music. Uh, it's a really, really cool city. Yeah. Um, I dig it. But yeah, just not in February. And like, I lived in New Orleans for a while. Like, so I've oh, lived yeah. and I like grew up in Wisconsin. So I've lived elsewhere. And I think I just, I like kind of being in that big city, that big city feel and the accessibility you have to almost anything so like yeah. any kind of cuisine like i can go get ethiopian yep. or yep. like you know oh, Thai shane. Street food or whatever <laughs> oh, shane shit, is shane. ethiopian you know what really bugs me about that one is he did a better job paying homage to e- ethiopian than shanika did with italian did she shanika, have italian she had italian and she put salmon on polenta oh i know that's not a fucking italian what is that let me just say this <laughs> Let me say this. I think there were, because we were there, right? And yeah. we saw what everyone made. Yeah. Because, um, like, I think the viewers, you don't always get to see what everyone makes. Well, true. But also, we only got to see from kind of afar. My season, when we'd get done, we got oh, to do the, the snake. snake. Yeah. We mm-hmm. didn't have that this time. No, that's true. So now watching back, like, I was actually doing better than I thought I was doing. Right, because you couldn't see what everybody like, yeah, behind I'm you like, was doing. These fuckers are melting down. I was like, I should have been way more confident. Yeah. 
Anyway, but what were you saying? Hindsight's twenty twenty. Yeah, I know. Uh, well, there's just I think based on what I saw and maybe and like you know this is like the judges and the producers will always say because I I brought it up to Patrick at one point because I was like Patrick what the fuck. You know, and like, I don't know if you noticed that, but like near the end of the last, my last few, like the gas station snacks and the yeah. the chili challenge and whatever, um, I had talked to Patrick a couple of times and obviously they go. That. And so yeah. Gordon ended up getting a little frustrated with me. And so he started calling me Miss Princess and like, ah, yeah. so he was not happy. Because they do, they report everything we say to them to And I yeah. knew that it was going, to, that, that's why I talked to Patrick. Because I was like, Patrick, do not like shit in my face and tell me that it's not shit you know what i mean i was like <laughs> i was like when two teams make the same mistake you cannot tell one that it was detrimental to their being on the show and the other one is just oh it's an innocent mistake and it doesn't affect anything yeah you know it's like it's the same mistake how can yeah. that don't it's supposed to be don't fair do that. right right That's what the rules say. but like you know and then or they do the little like well you didn't taste it and it's like I can see that with my eyeballs that that is like raw pork belly or like I can see with my eyeballs that that is burnt. Exactly. Whatever, yeah. whatever it is. Like I don't need to taste it. I yeah. know what that tastes like yeah. and it's not good. And then they're in the middle. They just kind of like float by in the middle, you know? So I was like, whatever. Yeah. Sometimes. Speaking of taste. Um, Uh-oh. So since you didn't watch far enough into Dara's episode. <laughs> I didn't. You caught me. I do a little uh, blind taste test. Oh, God. We, we, oh, uh, is that why you were asking me about food allergies? Yeah. Ah, fuck. Okay. <laughs> Damn it. Uh, I'm actually, I don't want to tell. I think you I think you probably have a really good palate. I'm going to, um, I'm going to like pull in Emily, but I'm like, Hold don't... on, Shane. I got to get her the blindfold. So. Oh, oh God. I have to be blindfolded? You can't see what I'm feeding you. Well, I don't know. <laughs> Shit. You've I'm never seen a blind taste good. test before? <laughs> Oh, it's a blind one. Yeah. Well, I can't, I've I've seen like regular ones of like here's this ingredient, like sauces or something. I don't know. Yeah. I can like do that pretty well. Like pull out ingredients and. Sauces. I think you're gonna do really well. And I've never done it in, blindfolded. In your favor, mm. I didn't have a lot of time to go get a bunch of crazy things. Yes, so it's good. all pretty simple. Well, you're gonna tell me that, and then it's you live in California, so like you can get <laughs> fresh bay leaves in the fucking grocery store. So. I wouldn't. I wouldn't make you eat a bay leaf. Um, I think that would be fun. I gave anchovy paste to Adrian. <laughs> <laughs> well, I've never tasted anchovy. I probably wouldn't know what it is. Oh darn. Yeah. All right. I'm did gonna... he know what it was? He did. He got that yeah. one. Um, yeah. He, he okay. missed some other really simple ones. That's really funny. And he also <laughs> told me he could taste color, which that was interesting. <laughs> oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, okay, okay. I'll close my eyes. Jesus. Uh, let me get the blindfold. I didn't see anything. All right. Can I open this one? Here. Oh, God. Oh, it's even got, in case I have eyelashes or something. Do you it's have like, eyelashes? No, we, God, Don't we all no. have eyelashes? I don't do, well, I mean, I have flip eyelashes, it, but I mean, like, lady. No, flip it over. There lady eyelashes where they're, like, big, because it doesn't, like, press on your eyelashes. Oh, my gosh. This is making me really nervous, because I've never done this blind. I've never done anything so blindfolded, I, I don't spoons think. spoons here? What's happening? I did okay. leave spoons here. Right. All right. Do I have to move this? You just stay right there. You're oh, good. Oh god, and then... this is very nerve wracking. I don't like this. <laughs> have you ever I... watched? Have you ever watched Hell's Kitchen? No. Oh, they do this on Hell's Kitchen. Gordon. Ew. Gordon. Uh... Gordon feeds them. Yeah. Oh my god, shoot me now. I would literally die if that, like, and not in a good way. If Gordon fed you? Yeah. Why? That's like the weirdest thing. Well, it's gonna get really weird because I'm gonna feed you now. <laughs> <laughs> Slightly less weird, but I'm not sure how how much less weird. Oh God, this is weird. Ah! Okay. Uh, it's gonna be fun. It's okay. not. It's nothing. Nothing bad. I, it's, okay. it's all just testing your uh, testing your palate. It, it better not be anything gross. No, nothing's gross. I promise okay. you that. Uh, nothing gross. Okay. This is all just like stuff I had in my fridge. Oh good. Well, but your fridge though could probably be a little weird. Could be. <laughs> Like there better not be any sea urchin. You didn't ask about preferences. You asked about allergies. I Correct. don't like. I don't like sea urchin. Well, but there's no. Okay, first of all, there's no sea urchin. Oh good. Okay. Okay. Right. Okay. Okay. That makes me feel better. Yeah. But if there was, and you're not allergic, I'd put it in your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Here we go. First okay. one. I'll tell you when to open up. Okay. And then you just. Uh, Wait. Do you like show it? Do they know what it is? Watching before watching. Or while they're watching? Yeah. Okay. Okay. So they know what it is. Okay. okay. Open up. Oh my God. Okay. 
so funny. I have a really small mouth. Okay. Mm. A little crunchy seeds. <laughs> and it's fruit. I'm going to say dragon fruit. Hmm. You want one more guess? <gasps> Is it not dragon fruit? It's not dragon fruit. A little? Mm -hmm. I used dragon fruit the last time. But with little crunchy seeds? It's not dragon fruit. What is that? Kiwi! Oh, fuck. I, had, <laughs> oh, I have not had a kiwi since I was like five. Okay, well, so clearly that's, yeah. I No, that's a good one. Okay, that was kiwi. It tasted a little bit like could it could have been dragon fruit texturally, maybe. Yeah, I mean, I think you were kind of in the ballpark. Do I get to feel it? I get no. to be blind, but I get to feel it? Okay. Taste. Um, Fine. Taste, uh, girl. Fine. Don't manipulate my okay. challenge. I also have, uh, just so you know, I have a very small mouth. <laughs> I do. <laughs> uh, would you like to rinse your very small mouth yeah. before here? Mm -hmm. I got a cup for Oh, oh I got my I got my water. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Sounds good. I'm ready. Right, I'm ready. Mm, oh, 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 oh. What is it? Mmm. 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 <laughs> I know that flavor. <laughs> Hold on. I'm so glad we did this. It's apple. But what kind yeah. of apple? Maybe oh, Honeycrisp apple? Far enough. Braeburn? I don't know. I didn't Fiji? look. <laughs> pink apple? Or pink lady? Uh, I don't okay. know. I okay. just... It was hard at first, so I thought it was something weird. Apple. It's apple. I got okay. one. Yay. Got one. Are we keeping score? Yeah. And if, okay. you get a, if you get more than 50%, you win an epic mega cookie. Ooh. Man, Do you okay, want to rinse 50, or are you ready? Oh, yeah. No, we got to rinse. Got to rinse. Mm -hmm. <sighs> We're ready. Okay. All right. Open up. Hold on. Wait. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. What is that? <laughs> what? Why are you freaking mm. out? Okay. I, well, it's something savory. So I was very like, oh my God. I was very nervous. Those are mushrooms. Okay. But good. what kind of mushrooms? White button mushrooms? No. Just baby Bellas? Baby Bellas. Oh, mm, okay. Yeah. Mmm. Mmm. I love mushrooms. Yum. Yum. Okay, good. Hmm. Yeah, where do I want to really go weird. next? God, I thought that, that was like baked beans or something for a minute. And I was like, oh Lord, have mercy. I had, um, I had the uh, Ava Maybe in here. Was, hmm? Ava maybe she, mm. she was on American Idol. Yep. And her dad is the drummer for the Red Hot Chili Peppers. Oh shit. And so I uh for did Red Hot Chili Peppers? For the food challenge, I did Red Hots, the candy. Mm. I did chili and then I did bell peppers. It was funny. Smart. It was funny. Smart. Oh yeah. Don't give me anything spicy. I'm not giving you anything spicy. Okay, thank you. I don't I, I really I don't like spicy food. That's why I did bell peppers. Okay, open up. Mmm. Mmm. Mmm, cookies. But what kind of cookies? Mmm, it's like a it's like a shortbread cookie. Or like a pecan sandy or something. Wait, 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 wait. Wait. Graham crackers. Ding ding ding! Yes. So what, you've only missed uh one so far. Yeah, that first one was mind boggling. But yeah, it's been like I mean, I'm thirty two. It's probably been twenty five years since I had a kiwi. <laughs> what? Oh, yeah. You don't like kiwis? No. Well, also, so then you like, you gave it to me. And after I s was done eating it, mm -hmm. I, so I think maybe kiwis have some of that same thing that like pineapple has, whatever that enzyme is. Because mm -hmm. it, um, oh, like, tingle your yeah, it makes my th like mouth and my throat kind of go numb. So that's, maybe that's why I stopped like eating it. Isn't that like an allergy? Yeah, but like it's not severe enough to be like, you know what I mean? Or like, and if you soak pineapple in salt, I think it's supposed to get rid of it, some of it. Interesting. All right, or right. when you cook it. Two. Ready for the next one? Hold on. That graham crackers really get stuck in your teeth, man. Yeah. She's a okay. swisher. We haven't had anyone swish yet. Oh, well, you got to get it all out. Like, you know, <laughs> you really want your taste to be neutral in there. Okay, we're ready. All right. I'm so nervous. Oh, 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 oh. It's Harry. Why is that Harry? <laughs> Harry! Oh. No, oh, it's kind of hairy. Mm, 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 mm. Okay. Mm, I know this flavor, but I don't like it. Mm. I love this flavor. It's in Indian cooking. 
What is that? Oh, sweet Jesus. That is very strong. <laughs> coriander? It's not coriander. It's fuzzy. Fuzzy. Why is it fuzzy? Um, um, but it's not fennel. But it tastes like fennel. Or what are those little seeds that are covered in candy that you get at Indian restaurants? That's seeds what it like. covered in candy. Uh, uh, cumin? Is that like a no. cumin plant? No. What is that? You give up? Uh, wait, hold on. Nom, 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 nom. I don't like it, whatever it is. I know what that, it's like, You. it's definitely used in like Indian cooking a lot. What is it? Shiso. Oh, it's not used in Indian cooking. Have Jap I never tried Japanese? a shiso leaf before? I, I love them, and I I love them, like, like raw like that, like mixed in with like oh. in tuna pogi is so good. Ooh. Or like so. frying it, when it's fried, it's so good. Oh no, that was not good. That was not good. I'm right, like, well, I have had shiso before one other time, and I didn't like it, but I don't remember it tasting so strongly, like almost like um, cumin seeds. Mm. Weird. To me, it's like minty. Did you? Well, that's what at first texturally I was like, oh, maybe it's mint. Um, did you put some thought into maybe going from like least strong to strongest? Or are you just giving me? You're just like shooting I, you out. You only of both got hips. one more choice, so oh, I'm just like okay. All right. firing from the hip here. Okay, all right. Well, that was very <laughs> strong. I'm very like. This will be fun. All right, open up. That makes me nervous. Okay. Mm. What is that? What is that? Oh, I know what that is. What is it? Just give me a minute. So hold on. <laughs> We're going to make sure we know what this one is. <laughs> That's coconut. Yeah. Yeah. Just regular coconut or? It's like the a little. like the thick peels. Yeah. Yeah. Of like not fret. Well. Toasted? Toasted. Toasted coconut. Is it toasted? Yeah. Oh, okay. It's definitely not fresh. Dried. Toasted. Sure. Yeah. I'll accept toasted. <laughs> you accept toasted. <laughs> I'll accept toasted. All right, you can, take the you can take the blindfold Jesus, off. that was really scary. I didn't like that. That was very scary. I didn't yeah, like great. the shiso. Yeah. Woo! Shiso's strong. Hey, you know what? It's, you, very you, strong. it's strong alone. It's really strong alone. But when you uh you use it right, man, it's it's a great ingredient. Blech. I also <laughs> I don't <laughs> I mean like have you ever eaten a like teaspoonful of coconut? Try to yeah. coconut? Oh, okay. I do all of them, you know. If I'm gonna give it to you, I know I gotta know, know what, what it tastes <laughs> like. <laughs> like I don't give them anything gross. Woo! I did like <sighs> a, I did like a, I don't know, a cooked scallop one time for S Cyrus, and was that it was funny. Warm? No, it was cold. <laughs> That's just like so rude. <laughs> <'Cause> you're, like, <laughs> you're like, what is that? Yeah. You would expect something to be like. But he's on a he was on warm. a keto diet, so I could only give him protein. And I had uh, scallops, I had steak, scallops, chicken, pork, and avocado in my kit in my yeah. refrigerator. I was like, well, well there we go. Again. This is what it is. Uh, wait. So what did I I missed? Oh, the shiso you, and the kiwi. You, you missed shiso and kiwi. Sad. So the I kiwi, had man. I had Adrian on, mm -hmm. and he goes. <laughs> I, first one I give him is carrot, and I usually give everybody carrot, and I just didn't have a carrot, and I was like, I'm not making a special run to the store <laughs> for, for a, a carrot, carrot for Emily. Yeah, no problem. Uh, I would have got that one right anyways. You think? Oh, for sure. You think? I know. But you would be surprised. Steven missed Did carrot. Did you say parsnips? What are they calling it? Parsnips? Steven, Potatoes? Like, what Steven are they? thought it was kohlrabi. Uh, no fucking way. I eat way too many carrots to ever call a carrot not a carrot. Yeah, so yeah. you would have gotten it. But yeah. you'd be surprised when you don't see the orange. Like, That's so Adrian's weird. like, mm, it's so, it tastes, it's so vibrant. It's so fresh. It tastes so green. And I was like, oh, what? You can taste color. I was it like, you so can green. taste color? He's like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah, man. You are so far off. Nope, nope, nope. Uh, it was funny. That's hilarious. Um, So how long are you here in LA? Uh, till Friday morning. <laughs> it's like a whirlwind tour. So I literally got to see nothing of New York or Nashville. Damn. I'm really not going to be able to see anything of LA. I mean, yeah, honestly, I mean, LA is so spread out. But yeah, are you trying to hit up any restaurants while you're here? No. Well, so I don't know. Can we say Master Chef is tonight? Be yeah, like on yeah, tonight. Yeah. yeah. So Master, because Master Chef is on tonight. So I'm pretty much what I'm going to do is go to my hotel, walk over to Trader Joe's, because like I have literally been since sunday night been on a plane conducting focus groups or in a hotel room pretty much sleeping so like i'm gonna go get a bottle of wine 
some snacky snacks and I'm going to get like three wine Emily drunk tonight <laughs> in my hotel room watching, watching. two hours of Master Show. I'm going to be like, yeah, man. Da, da. You know, you're not on the show anymore. You can actually like go out to a restaurant. Well, so, oh my God. So this is actually what's really funny because I have a job, right? Like yeah. that I like and I work and I've been doing these focus groups where you're just like meeting general people in the yeah. public. Yeah. And so in one of my groups yesterday, um, you know, I go through my little spiel of like, here's the ground rules, whatever. I'm Emily, la, la, la. Um, any questions before we start? And this woman goes, oh, hey, I have a question. And Master she's like, Chef question? She was like, do you watch Master Chef? <laughs> and I was like, Let's hold that one till the end. Uh, we can discuss. And she was like, oh, I knew it. I never forget a face. And I was like, uh, okay, well. That's funny. Yep. And then everybody else, nobody really knew what she was talking about. And then Are you end, getting recognized like, yeah. more or less than season nine this um, time around? Uh, it kind of, I mean, less so far. Yeah. Um, season nine, it started earlier. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and it was just like, honestly, I mean, I live in like kind of like a weird place and I spend a lot of time in Wisconsin where people know I'm from Wisconsin. They don't think to see me in Chicago. Sure. Um, so I don't get recognized that much in Chicago. I did once already now and then once on the focus groups. But yeah. like, I don't know. Maybe I just don't have a recognizable face. No, you know what? I think it is this time around because se season six, like it was madness. I couldn't mm -hmm. go to the grocery store. Like I, if like, I went to the grocery store, it was a four hour ordeal because I would literally, it, would it was just, just people. It was just people. Damn. It was wild. I mean, I, and I'm talking like people would, one lady gave me like, she was like, give me your address. I want to mail you sunglasses. And she said, she sent me like a thousand dollars worth of sunglasses. Like, I mean, wild season six was wild this time around. I mean, my hair is different than yeah, yeah. what it was on the show. I grew it out. So I think that's kind of helping, but also I think we're all so desensitized to people's faces because of our damn phones and watching oh, reels true. and Instagram and so much. You get the people who do the like. Oh yeah, you get that. Like I think I recognize them. I had you know there was one like, uh, not I was I was in Costco at like nine o'clock in the morning. I'm getting ribs to go make ribs for this party, and I'm like walking, and this this lady goes, it's like this black lady and her husband, and they're walking, and she's like. And I'm just like walking and I'm like, I just like, I'm shaking my head and I just walk right past it's her because like she's not saying anything. She's yeah, just pointing. Yeah. And, and I'm just like, like uh -huh, yep, it's yep. me. And then as I walk past, I turn and I'm walking backwards and she's completely turned around. She's like, I'm like, yeah, yeah. Derek from MasterChef. She goes, oh, you, you sent Shelly home. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, that's awesome. <laughs> Damn. I know. Maybe, yeah, maybe that is what it is. People just are like kind of like desensitized yeah. to all of that now. But it's, it's yeah. different. I mean, I mean, season six, I was not looking at the phone as much as I am now. Yeah. I'm like, and all the stuff we got to do now. It's like all the reels. All, do you, are you doing any of that? Like I'm on Instagram, TikTok. Like I am on all of that. But I was, I was just thinking about this actually on my flight here and i was like god that's a lot of work you know what i mean like i have a full-time job i've got two dogs i also want to like have a life and right, like right, cook and right, go do fun things right. and go to the gym and whatever and it's like how do people do it right so like if you have a full-time job you're working all day yeah and then what you just like you just like batch reels on the weekends like yep. what you know it's just like damn dude. i did i did four on sunday that's insane and like today i got up i got up at uh 6 a.m. I went to the gym. I came back. I chopped up all this food. I had a I had a Zoom meeting. Mm -hmm. I got on my bike. I rode here, uh, and then I'm gonna like literally. That's why I keep looking at the clock. Yeah, I'm like, like, running out of time. I'm gonna jump on my bike. I'm gonna get home. Get in the car. Drive to Malibu. Cook all night. Damn. And then hopefully so film some of that cooking to keep piling on exactly. the reels. <laughs> Everything is content. Oh, I hate it. I everything actually, is I mean, everything is I do enjoy like posting it and seeing, you know, people get excited about it. I like when, mm -hmm. you know, when people are like, oh my God, this is amazing. But at the same time, I'm like, why? Why do we have it all? Why do we need to do it all? Yeah. Like, this is not what we're supposed to be doing. I don't think it's what we're I supposed mean, to be doing. I mean, well, some pe for some people, they get validation from it. No, I mean, I I'm think like, it, like uh -huh. as humans, we are not supposed to be just like uh. spending our time uploading content, uploading content. It's like, I understand like we are definitely supposed to create and build and and continue like creating more people. Mm -hmm. I and but like just this waste of time of content 
because we didn't used to do that. Mm -hmm. You know, it's all a new thing. So I don't know. I, the one thing I love about it, though, is because I am like I'm a nerd when it comes to like learning about other things or like and I'm a visual learner, too. So like it one thing that social media has really helped me do is like learn new things, yeah. skills and techniques really yeah. quickly. Right. Because like I it's like opens your eyes to like. Yeah. so many fucking yeah, things yeah, yeah. like am i creating a lot of content no like i'm like oh shit i should take a picture of that snap post it to instagram um but not like creating content so yeah I'm like i'm more i'm probably more of a consumer of content than a poster but, yeah i like to look see what, what uh you want to uh cook for a wedding in malibu so at some point somebody reached out to me at fucking on instagram and they were like hey we want you to and i was like bro i am not a chef <laughs> I am not a private chef. I don't have a team of people. I don't live in California. None of these things sound appealing to me. You, and he's now reached out to up. me twice. Twice. Yeah, through different accounts. Because he's like, oh, sorry, I used like one, my business account and like this is my personal account. And he's like, they, a wedding. I don't even know. He didn't even put that in the thing. I was just like, bro, you're leaving out some really crucial information here. But I'll just be like, hey, sorry, I don't uh, do that. But Derek, yo. And he has all of the Yeah, stuff. I have all the stuff. I have all the wherewithal to do it. I would not want to do it. Why? At a fucking wedding? Yeah. They wouldn't be able to afford me. They would not. They would not like You'd be price. surprised. You know what it is too? Because like my my full time gig, mm. I wouldn't have the time. And eh, if true. and if I told them, hey, I'm gonna go do, a, I'm gonna cook this wedding. They, I don't know if they'd be cool with that. I don't know. Maybe let me entertain it. Whatever. I'll, I'm, I'm gonna send him because like even someone like brandy right like she's got like kind of a team and maybe she could go out i don't know but i'm just like i, I don't mean have like a team i'm of right here i mean yeah i just all right whatever i'll send you the i'll forward i'll send you the screenshot let me let me i'll chat with them yeah um awesome yeah uh well i'm sorry you don't have time to go out and do anything and no I'm way. used to it. I've I've been to I've yeah. Thanks for squeezing this in. I know. Well, I was excited about this. So like honestly, I like because I'm traveling with my boss, and I was like, "Peace, gotta go do a podcast." And she was like, "A podcast?" What? And I was like, "This is your first I'm not podcast." Working today? Yeah. And I was like, "No, nah, I'm not. I'm not like working the rest of like emailing the rest She's of like, today." Like a podcast? Yeah. She was like, "Huh?" And I was like, "Uh huh." Yeah. Yeah. This is happening. I'm just doing it. Like like when you're traveling for work and like it's just like the wild wild west. Yeah. Man. Help help me get uh, vital proteins to be a sponsor. Oh shit. Yeah. Uh. Well, I mean, like <laughs> when they sponsor shit, they sponsor shit. Let's go. I'll like, I'll put spoonfuls of the powder into people's mouths. Oh, don't do that. <laughs> oh my god. Have you ever done that? <laughs> no, but that would be funny. <laughs> it would be like a mouthful of glue, literally. <laughs> like, don't do that. Don't do that, anybody. Don't do that. No. Like, but no, we would. That would be awesome. Um. There's definitely an that. avenue. So. Yeah. Anyway. All right. Let's wrap this up. Yeah. And we'll get you to your three wine Emily night. <laughs> Dude. Three wine Emily afternoon, maybe. Oh, like, it's going to be I'm great. Kind of bummed I don't get to witness it. It's, it's a good great. time. If anyone gets the opportunity <laughs> to experience three wine Emily, it's a lot of fun. I become a different person. So. It's wild. Yeah. Gosh, if we could have boozed you up while you were cooking, that would have been great. <laughs> it would have been terrible. All right, let's get out of here. Oh, what? What? Oh, yeah. What? Oh, he's pointing. Yeah. yeah. Here, we'll just cut to this. Oh yeah, you get this. Woo! This is a because I it actually had nothing. To, you were getting uh, it anyway. It's, bummer, a, it's a man. gift. It's a gift for showing up. I like to win things. Okay. Just yeah. kidding. I don't like. That's not a, a. What is it? It's my s'mores cookie. Oh, shit. Yeah. Yo. <gasps> Wait. Where's a? You can, where is a... You can go that one. Or that one. <sighs> Yum. Yeah. Also, I'm. I went camping this weekend, and so I there. didn't actually get to do any smore, Have any s'mores. So. Oh. That'll be uh, you can this is you can one. snack on that while you're drinking the wine and watching Master Chef. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna get cookie faced. Let's go. Uh, Love it. Awesome. Thanks for coming out. Let's take a photo real quick and then we'll bounce. Hey guys, thanks for tuning in to a bunch of losers with me, Derek Fox. Uh, please comment below. Uh, if you guys have questions for any of these guests, I'm sure they would love to answer, and I'll answer as well. So. Let me know below. Also, you know what to do. Like, share, subscribe, and then also make sure you're following us on Instagram, A Bunch of Losers with Derek Fox, so you get the update on the new episodes. We will be launching them weekly. All right. Thanks, losers. Action.